Assalamu alaikum, my dear students. How are you? Hope you are well, doing well by the grace of Almighty Allah. Welcome to NIBS Home School. Here I am Lokman Ocean, assistant teacher of NIBS. Now I am going to conduct an information and communication technology class for the students of class 8. Our today's discussion topic has been taken from your textbook, chapter 5, lesson 45. In this lesson, it has been discussed about the influence of internet in education sector. As being a citizen of this digital age, we know that internet has a vast role in our education sector. Internet can give us any types of information which we need for our education purpose. Whenever you are a student, you can get your learning process, method and different kinds of materials from internet. If you need any information regarding class lectures, you can search in, in YouTube and you can get lots of materials, tutorials from YouTube channel. On the other hand, a teacher can get different types of teaching materials, process and also tutorials from internet. So the uses of internet is burst throughout the world. All types of information we can get from internet. Whenever you feel any confused, then you can ask Google and Yahoo, different kinds of search engine and you can get such type of answer from them. Even it's possible to take your lecture again from your internet by helping YouTube. It's also become possible to uh, contact with the distance learning by live class or distance learning from virtual class. Teachers can contact with students and students can keep in touch with teachers. So the uses of internet in education sector which ensures a quality of education in our country. Now let's have a look in our textbook what's waiting for us. Lesson 45, influence of the internet in education. This is my lecture number 8 and at the end of our today's class I will give you an SW, SW number should be 7. As the internet has tremendous influence in all spheres of our life. So it's not surprising that it has an impact on education. Those who do go to schools may already have noticed it. You, you can see that your all types of books are available, they are soft copy in website. However, you can search www.nctv.com.bd, you can get all types of your book. If you lost, you can download it for your own use. The internet has been extensively used for preparing the book you are reading right now. Not only that, this book and other textbooks are kept in the website on the NCTV. If you somehow lost your books, you can easily download it for your own use from the website of the NCTV. The internet has an extensive use in the education sector of our country. After finishing your JSC examination, you will get the results directly from the internet. You can get all types of results staying at home. Suppose just for a clicking on a message option, then you can get the, your mass message from your internet. After finish, sorry, the internet is also used for admission purpose. The information of different schools and colleges can be found from the internet, which is also used for running a lot of schools from the country. So now it's available in our all all spheres of our education sector even also we can get admission from internet besides managing the education system the internet contributes a lot to the development of education if you fail to understand a certain point of your textbook you can seek help from the internet where you will definitely get information on that subject if you do not get information for some reason you may ask question in a forum where someone or the other will have the another. Any individual or group having access to the internet may answer your question. Previously, questions were to be written in English in order to search for answer in the internet and all the information were in English. But it's now we can get our all types of information even also in our search engine in Bangla. Uh, most popular search engine for Bangladesh is Pipilika. So in order to search for information, answer in this internet and all the information was in English. Now things have changed. In our country, 
a Bangla search engine named Pipilika is currently available on the internet. If you require, you can easily search for your information on the internet read writing in Bangla. The information bank in Bangla on the internet should be enriched to make exchange information in our mother tongue more convenient. The process is gradually developing. In education, especially in science education, we need to carry out experiments in different fields. In many cases, a virtual display of how it can be carried out is possible. So whenever we need any experiments, need to do any experiments, <coughs> we can get different types of source where you can enrich your experiments by taking help from the internet. Or you can present your experiment, you can present your project by the helping of PowerPoint, Excel or Slideshow. It's not possible to develop such experiments by the effort of an individual or an organization, but as a such rich information bank has been developed on the internet by collective effort, the scientific experiment which was impossible for you to carry out by yourself earlier has now become possible. That's why internet is called also super highway information. Okay? Internet, there is another name of internet is called super highway information. Thanks to the advent of the internet, you need not confine yourself to the textbook or the teacher's lecture in order to learn. Whenever a teacher recorded a lecture, then you can get back your lecture again or you can revise your lecture from your teacher's recording because it's more effective than a hand notes or sheet or any, anything others. So nowadays many exciting courses are offered on the internet and anybody can take any of these courses. Staying in Bangladesh you can take part in different course of different international course from abroad. You can get enroll yourself in Oxford University, Harvard University through internet. The internet doesn't offer courses only from schools, colleges, universities. The school students can request the astronauts in space station to make an experiment in the vacuum of space. The astronauts show that experiment with pleasure and ease, the students on Earth can learn something new by watching them works. So you can comprehend that the internet has extends its way to the space extending beyond the surface of the art also. Now we are accustomed to reading the printed version of books that will be very soon replaced by e-books. E-books mean electronic books which is available in internet. All the books of the world will be pre preserved in e-book format on the internet and anyone will easily be able to download it to his e-book reader. Once a man had to be satisfied only with the book he could carry but now, with the blessings of the internet, human beings can choose to access necessary books at any given moment. It may sound unbelievable, but you can store not only a book, but also a complete library in your pocket if you require. So it's now possible to get any types of book which you need from internet. Whenever you search in search engine such as Google or Yahoo.com, then you can get your supposed book from there. So the use contribution of internet is unbelievable. In our digital age, we are involved with any act, act, many activities through the information and communication technology. With the blessing of information and communication technology, our country can ensure you a quality education. So now let, take your SW. There are two short questions. Number one question is, Explain the effect of internet in education. This is SW number 7. As you, you should remember all lecture number and SW number is mentioned here. At the corner side of our board, all lecture number and SW number is given here. You should write at the top of your SW copy. Okay, number 2 question, what are the merits of using internet in the education sector dress type? What are the merits of using internet in the education sector, describe it. So this is two SW, short question as your SW. So keep practicing at home and maintain your hygiene and wear mask if you go outside. Keep practicing for your annual examination 
See you soon or in the next video. Allah Hafiz.